Fraudulent payments is a big issue in e-commerce, and it usually happens that you receive payments from someone and then a few weeks or months later you realize that this payment should be returned because uh, someone claimed that this card was stolen. Hey guys, what is up everybody and welcome to a new video. In this video let's talk about fraudulent payments if you're using Stripe Gateway for your e-commerce business. And uh, you were asking me a few times how to make sure that uh, the payment which you got from your client, which is uh, maybe based overseas, is the real one, right? So it's not a stolen card or something like that, because you know that with, uh, with a Stripe, you can have several options how you accept the payment. It can be Apple Pay, it can be Google Pay, and it can be card pay, where person pays actually by entering the card details into the form on your website. And this is a kind of like tricky one and I had a story in the past when at some point we were selling goods on online and uh, our every check was around one two hundred uh, dollars we started to receive orders which are five six seven hundred dollars and we were like wow interesting but it was noticeable you you can immediately see when you have average you know uh, check on your website and then you see this rise and we started to sell and we were happy and then in three months, we started to receive claims that uh, banks, they came back to Stripe and say, listen, we have to freeze this money on this person account or we have to get this money back. And because at that point, we always have some amount on our Stripe account, Stripe decided to return this money to the banks. And we were like, okay, what are what, what we gonna do next? The situation is simple. So we basically got the payment, we ship the product, and a few months later, Stripe require us to pay back. And since then, we started to apply extra measures. And what we started to do, first of all, we tried to eliminate those uh, payment options where you have a lot of risk. We removed some of the countries from our list with those markets which we are target targeting which payment systems or type of the payments more common in those areas and because we are targeting for example United States as one of the biggest markets for us uh, we saying okay let's uh, let's uh, pre prioritize PayPal because PayPal is quite popular there and also Apple Pay is quite popular there so those are two type of uh, payments which we want to accept on our website for that market our top two providers for all payments are PayPal and Stripe of course you always have a client who wants to pay by card for for different reasons some of those people not really shop online often but they find some unique product which they want to buy from you and they like, okay, I want to buy from you, but I want to pay by card. We ask person to pay via Apple Pay or PayPal and if they don't want to pay this way, we just like, sorry. But sometimes you understand that client is good. Somehow they know about you, they tell you some information or they tell you that someone told them uh, told them about you and uh, when it comes to uh, accepting payments uh, by card using stripe there is a really good feature which you need to check if you if you using stripe for your business uh, this feature called radar so basically radar is a extra layer of protection which stripe provide to you can see additional information about each particular payment stripe claims they use a lot of uh, data to evaluate each particular payment so they try to analyze uh, how often these particular emails was used for payments how often they see this email in their system because what they do they uh, accumulate all the transactions from around the world in one database and then they run each transaction through their database through their internal database and also partners database as far as I understand and they try to see if there is ever issue with such particular person or such particular email address and uh, they use like uh, machine learning and some other techniques to cross match the information from each particular uh, payment and they give you a result like what is the probability of this payment to be a fraudulent right uh, they never tell you that don't accept this payment or accept this payment they basically give you additional information and based on that you can decide whether you cancel or you accept the payment and that's what we usually use and from our experience it's like almost almost 100 accurate it's like of course not 100 there is always a chance 
but the thing is we never had fraudulent payment uh, if we use radar function you see all this extra data which uh, an analysis which stripe provides you with and then we of course see some additional data for example about where this card has been registered and uh, which address is original address for this card and uh, where we got the payment from because it shows you location it shows you how many layers of protection was used for example did they put cvc code or did they use uh, mobile verification sms or something like that so all boxes are checked probably should be good payment i mean there is shouldn't be any problem in the future and also you look at how big the value of their transaction but if there is something some things which are not typical as i mentioned before for example card registered in one location uh, payment went through from different country amount is much higher than usual and then radar feature says you that there is a high probability of this payment to be fraudulent in most of the cases we just issue refund when order is real person usually will come back to you and say why why you cancel my order but when this is a fraudulent payment basically those people who use fraudulent uh, cards they just don't bother right so they just okay this did not work let's try someone else and uh, that's basically how we try to identify which are, you know, which payments are good and which payments we should not really uh, take. It costs you from five to seven cents per transaction, which is not much, I think, for this extra layer of protection. And I would definitely advise you if you're using Stripe and if you're accepting card payments, uh, definitely subscribe for other feature that will definitely help you. I hope it's been helpful. If so, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.